everyone. Today let's have a little bit of a review on the Family Search Wiki. Here goes. Got a question for you. A patron comes in asking to find her great 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 grandfather's death certificate. Family tradition says that he died in 1752 in Tennessee. She wonders if this is true. You've never dealt with Tennessee records, so do you say, sorry, I can't help you with that, or sorry, I don't do Tennessee records, but maybe I can find someone who does, or I haven't researched in Tennessee before, but we have great resources, so let's go learn together. Obviously, we figured out that number three is probably the best answer. You know your patron's goal, and so you have a place to start. Don't forget to ask about the time constraints that she may ha have. Also, my own little um, pet thing that I do is I explain that a little education up front goes a long way in preventing wild goose chases. We don't want to discourage patrons, but we need to help them understand that family history isn't always a one-click, I can find it all, particularly as you reach back in time. So let's get started. Family Search Wiki is on FamilySearch.org. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to that. And you can see we need to sign in. And please sign in. There we go. Okay, here we are. Okay, so to get to the Family Search Wiki, we come over here on the top to search, come down to Wiki at the very bottom. And this is the Family Search the Family History Research Wiki page. Okay, so we, you want to remember to use keywords, not phrases. And we're going to start broad. So I'm going to just type in Tennessee, because I know absolutely nothing about Tennessee, except that it was a state, or it is a state. Okay, so here we are at the on the um, Tennessee Wiki page. Just up front, you know that all of the wiki pages are created on the same basic template. Everything that is seen in blue is linked. It's hyperlinked to other things. If it's red, it means that there's a placeholder there, but there is nothing there yet. Okay, so let's take a look. The first thing we can look under Tennessee information. Tennessee is a state in the southeastern portion of the United States, divided into 19 counties, capital Nashville, it was admitted to the Union as the 16th state in 1796. It was created from the province of North Carolina and Southwest Territory. Okay, as I read that, and as we read that with the patron, we help them realize that, oh, wait a minute, 1752. Tennessee wasn't even a state in 1752. So I want to take the patron over to the right-hand side under Tennessee background, because we need some background. Let's take a look at the history of Tennessee. And what I love for the wiki is there's this brief history included on all of them. You come down here, it's important events that affected political boundaries, record keeping, and family movements. And remember when it comes to family history, you're not just looking for a family name. You need to be looking for the, the types of records that were created at that time. So we kind of look and say, oh, 17, okay, 1752, they're going to be in here somewhere. But we do know, as we look through this, that Tennessee was not a state. If we come in here in 1769, there was the first permanent settlement in Watauga Valley by North Carolina and Virginia settlers. Okay, so we're kind of looking at the 1752 thinking, can that possibly be real? And how did she know that this was true? Or has she done her homework on the on her ancestors' descendants to see, are we, are we barking up the right tree when it comes to this family? Okay, so we've looked at the history. I always, always, always go to the history first, just because I'm, I realized that history wasn't always everybody's favorite subject in school. And a lot of times we forget those important dates of when a state became a state. Okay, we can also look at this wiki and get more information. As you see right here, getting started with Tennessee research. There are lots of lots of ideas right here. And Tennessee research tools over here. Very, very helpful. We also have Tennessee online records. 
and this will show you a list of um, online genealogy records for the state of Tennessee. So you can look at all of these. You'll notice if they've got a dollar sign after them. They, of course, that is a pay site. And a lot of them will explain too. This one says index and images, index only, only complete. Okay, partial index. Index is free, but the images cost you. Things like that. Other places to go. See also my heritage. So you want to look at this and think, gather up all of your resources and see, okay, in my time period, what do I need to be looking at? Okay? So we'll go back to this home page. Also, as we scroll down, you can see a Tennessee clickable map. You go to the, you can go to the county, or they're listed out here, and they will show different, all of the things for that, all of the information for that county. It'll tell you quick dates when they started their civil records keeping, things like that. Wiki is very, very valuable for those situations where you don't know too much about the area. Okay, there's also more resources down here. Okay, one other thing before I leave this is this Ask the Community I think is very important. It is the Facebook Research Groups page and we're looking, so Tennessee, who can help me out? So the Utah, or the U.S. South Genealogy Research Community, this is their home page. They will ask you to join. That just so you can become a member, but that just means that they'll help you out. Okay, this is the place where on the Family Search Wiki you're starting very broad, getting broad information. This is where, after you've done some information digging on your own, that you can come down and say and post, I'm looking for John Smith. He was born in or he died in or whatever. And and say the records that you've looked, you know, tell them the records that you've looked at. What is it that you are looking for? Can anybody help me? This is where you can get specific. And there are people out there that maybe know of re a record set that you've never heard of. So this isn't this isn't a place um, to ignore. This is a place to embrace. And I know a lot of people um, Facebook, they, they can't quite see the value of it. They just look at it as, oh, social media. However, since they have 1.94 billion monthly active users, don't knock it until you've tried it. You never know. Somebody there may have your answer. Okay, so we've looked at that. Let's go back to Family Search. And so that, you can go through this with um, any patron that comes in. The states have a lot more information on their wiki pages. However, the countries are, are gradually catching up as more and more people contribute to the wiki. So we're going to switch gears just a little bit. And what happens when a patron comes in asking something like this. I want to learn more about my grandpa. He was born somewhere in Russia in 1889. His name is Joseph. Okay, did that just sound like this to you? Yes, no, you know more about my grandfather. He was born in Russia in 1889. His name is Joseph. My apologies to any Russian speakers out there if the Google translation didn't get it exactly right. My point was point the point I wanted to make is sometimes when patrons come in or ourselves even thinking about um, our ancestors, we look at it and say Russia. Oh my goodness! Oh look at that land! Look at look at that alphabet! I can't even figure out what what that means. Um, I better find somebody that speaks Russian. Okay, so our first thought, maybe, or maybe I'm the only one, first thought is, oh, a little bit of panic. Then we slow down and we start breaking it down. First thing it, that's important to me to help um, patrons understand is European boundary changes were very constant and that they may be looking at different countries. So if I'm looking for for a patron for their grandpa. He was born somewhere in Russia in 1889 and his name was Joseph. Okay, Joseph is a pretty common name and Russia is a really big place. And in 1889, we have no idea where he was. I'd like to show just a very short clip that illustrates how quickly the boundaries changed and how constantly they changed in Europe. 
So just watch this for a few seconds and, and watch in the top left hand corner it gives you the it gives you the year stamp so that you can see how quickly these boundaries are changing. So does that give you an idea of why we need to ask more detailed questions and help people understand that we need, we need to ask some more questions before we can dive in and find their grandfather Joseph that was born in Russia. So here we are, we can go back to the wiki and this time instead of typing in Tennessee we're going to just type in Russia and see what we can find. Okay, you'll notice right here that the wiki built the same exact way as the one that we saw for the states, however, not quite as much information. But you can start, I again would start with the history. Come over here for Russian background, a little bit of history. And here's your history right here. I would read through it. It'll give you a brief glimpse of, of what you may be looking at. Let's go back now to this main page. And again, you get started with Russia research. How to guide Russia's or research strategies, beginning Russian research. The Family Search Help Center has quite a few learning videos on reading Russian records and things like that. Finding places in the former Russian Empire, that would be an interesting one because as you see, the boundaries change constantly. Okay, there's a few things that you'll find. Look at all the records that are online for Russia. Great, your biggest thing is you need to know where in Russia and if your family really was from Russia. So how do you find out that information? Well, this is, a, this is one place where you can stop and, and think to yourself and explain to your patron that they really, before you can do anything in finding these records for their Russian grandfather, you need to know exactly where he was from. You can't just say he was from Russia because as you have seen, everything changes rapidly. So they need to have gone through and found every piece of, gone through every piece of information that they could find on their, on the um, descendants. Um, maybe they'll find, you know, naturalization records of children. if. And if the relative didn't come to the U.S., um, where's your link? Who is the person that is your link between where they are now and, and Russia? I face this with my own family with Lithuanian research, and it gets, a little, it gets a little wonky at times, but it is also really fun. Also, you may want to check right over here and notice in Russian background over here, there is a Russian word list which can become your best friend if you if you find a record and you can't read it but you can pick out the the headings so here's some information right here that you that can help you out it has the pronunciations the english cardinal numbers transliteration so it doesn't have to be really really scary it will take some time it's not going to be a one click point there we're done however you can help the patron I hope with this wiki training today, I've shown you that it's a very, very valuable tool for us to use with our patrons and also for ourselves. And it can answer a lot of questions. And so we don't have to panic when somebody comes in and or if we start into our own research in a territory that we're not familiar with. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.